everybody welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a collective haul of uh, beauty products that I've purchased from Sephora and stylekorean.com which is a Korean beauty website these are products that I took advantage of during a end of year New Year's sale for both and uh, yeah so I just picked up some products so without further ado let's get right into the haul all right so first off all right, so first off, I'm gonna start with what I purchased from Sephora during their Boxing Day New Year's Day sale. And first of all, I purchased the Marks, Mark Jacobs uh, eyeshadow palette, the iconic eyeshadow palette in 790 Fantasine. This is the like pink tone one, and can we like, I love it. Like I've already kind of used it because I received all these and I started using them. I've used it once. I love these colors. This color is very neutral while at the same time being very pretty on my eyes. I really like it and uh, it was like half price because I think they're redesigning. They're rebranding or redesigning all the Marc Jacobs beauty stuff so at the beginning of January a lot of it was on sale so I took advantage. Again I got the two samples. This is the um, not again. I got the two samples that you get with every order. You can choose them. I got the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I've used it before. It's all right. It's not worth the price tag, I don't think. And I also got the Rare Beauty Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer to try out. Uh, I like concealers. I Well, I use concealers, and I have yet to find one that I really, really like. I'm currently using the Moonshot one, and it's a little bit too liquidy for me. And I you finished off the Becca one, which you can't get anymore because Becca doesn't exist. And it was too dry. So I'm looking for one kind of in the middle. It's not super liquidy, but it's not super dry because I find the liquidy one blends away. <laughs> it doesn't do its job and the dry one just really settles into all my fine lines and creases under my eyes and it just doesn't look nice. I also got some 100 point perks. I picked up some. So I picked up the Dior Dream Skin Care and Perfect perfect skin creator I think it's a, a primer I think yes yeah, this little tiny little tiny thing I think it's a primer but I'll try it out I mean I probably would never buy a full size because that's Dior is outrageously expensive <laughs> I'll never probably never buy a full size but you know when you get it as a point perk or freebie why not and I also got the melt ultra matte lipstick this is in the color frisky that's it there. It's a little tiny little thing. It's a little nice little brown color actually. Oh yeah. Yeah, see it's just a brown. I mean, why not? I haven't tried it. I have a couple of matte like melt lipsticks and I really enjoy them. So I'm sure I'll enjoy that one as well. And I, I enjoy a good lipstick. <laughs> Uh, I also got the Huda Beauty Diamond Bomb Sparkly Lip Balm. They have one, this is in the color Dirty Thoughts. I think this is the purple one. They do still have the nude one. I checked today. Uh, they do still have the nude one in stock, but it's the only one. They don't have this one anymore. So that is the packaging. It's super cute packaging. Ooh, it's very pretty aesthetic to it, right? Like it's, it's textured glitter on the outside, but the top of it is kind of smooth. So when you apply, oh, oh, that's glitter. <laughs> that is uh, literally a glitter lip balm. That's not, that's not even a lip balm. That's like a freaking gloss. Holy crap. Oh, it's got a nice, ooh, it's got a magnetic closure and everything. I'm actually kind of excited for this. I actually, it feels really smooth and soft. It's different, like, mm. I'm excited to use this actually. Uh, and the next thing I got is from a uh, indigenous owned brand, uh, Canadian too, I think it's Cheekbone Beauty. This is the uh, blush bronzer duo. Um, and I got it in the color light, I think. Fair, so I got it in the color fair because I found, I looked at the medium and I, I thought the medium looked a bit too dark for me. So it comes in this beautiful tin. And uh, it's an indigenous owned brand, an indigenous woman owned brand that Sephora started carrying this year. And I've really been interested in trying it. So that's what it looks like. So you get a bronzer and a blush in there. It's pretty smooth. Those are the two colors. And the packaging is reusable, which is amazing. It's like more sustainable than any like plastic packaging. That's them there. So you can see the bronzer on the bottom and the blush is kind of more, it's right there. It's more of a glowy like, blush like it's not one that 
gives a lot of color payoff, but it gives a, a sheen. So it might be nice as like a blush topper. And the last thing I got from Sephora is this Too Faced Christmas Coffee Palette. I bought this, this is one of their mini palettes that they released for Christmas this year. It's one of their eight pan palettes um, in the little metal tins. I saw it and I really like the color story in it. Like I especially really liked that green, this green right here and the fact that the rest of it is fairly neutral. It looks very similar to the uh, Pat McGrath Mothership one I got a couple years ago. It, it looks very similar to that, but it's got a little bit more lighter colors, which is a little more versatile for me. And the fact that it's so small makes it very travel friendly, um, which is nice. So, I mean, I picked that up. It's super cute, love the packaging. I'm really excited to use that. Okay, so the rest of this stuff is all, is all from uh, Style Korean, which is a, a website that sells Korean beauty products, and now they have food too, so you can buy Korean food products as well, which is cool. But yeah, so I picked this up. I picked all this stuff up because they had a huge New Year's Day sale. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna stock up because I wanna make sure that I can get through most of the year without worrying about having to buy anything. With Style Korean though, don't buy stuff that you want the next day because it takes them a long time. It takes, I live in Canada and it takes about three weeks to get it to me, but I mean, it's from across the world. So it takes that long and I'm kind of like, you know, if it takes that long, it takes that long. That's why I stock up on it because it takes so long to get here. There's no point in buying one cleanser and then having the cleanser show up and immediately having to buy another one because you go through cleansers that fast. So. For me, I like to take advantage of sales, stock up, and that's it. And here's the thing with uh, Korean like storefronts, brands, websites, stuff like that, you always get like really nice samples with them, and it's really nice to get them. So the samples I got with this one, I got the Coserex Hydrium Soothing Set uh, with the Centella Aqua Soothing Ampoule and the Green Tea Aqua Soothing Gel Cream. So you get little uh, packet samples, those two packet samples there, which is awesome. And you get, I got the SNP Prep Triple Cream Kit, which has a Pepteronic Cream, a Cream to Lock in Moisture, a Secaronic Soothing Cream, and a Vitaronic Gel Cream for glowy skin. So you get three types of cream, which Tyler will probably use the Seca one and I'll use the other two for sure. And then they sent me an SNP sheet mask. <laughs> uh, Korean sheet masks are like the best sheet mask you can buy. I don't understand people paying like 10, 15, 20 dollars for one sheet mask. Like this is 75 cents a lot of the time on Style Korean. You can find them for super duper cheap and they're great. All right, so my camera died on me so I had to get uh, go and plug it in. So those are the samples. So the first thing I got is from Kosar X. This is the Clear Fit Master Pat, Clear Fit Master Patches, uh, which are like Zit Hydrocolloid, I think is what it is hydrocolloid patches that you put on zits um, that makes them go away. <laughs> uh, Tyler really likes to use these when he gets a breakout. I also got a bunch of uh, cushion puffs because I love using these to apply my foundation. Um, cushion puffs are better than beauty blenders <laughs> and beauty sponges. I find the cushion puffs, they um, spread foundation better they especially with glowy foundation they really press it into your skin much better than a beauty blender does so I got five from Hamish this is a ruby cell ruby cell puff and then I got two from moonshot which is just a regular cushion puff I'm not a huge fan of the moonshot cushion puffs because I find the um, the ribbon breaks very very easily and it's really hard to get your fingers in there but it's super soft it works really well on my face so I will deal with it <laughs> Uh, the next thing I got was from my Tude House, and I already threw away the packaging. This is a brush cleansing bathtub. <laughs> um, as you can see, it's textured on the bottom there for cleaning your brushes, and you collapse it down, and it looks like a little pink bathtub. So you, you, you put it in your sink, and I started washing my brushes up here, which is great, and I like need something in my sink to keep my sink clean. This is perfect. All the textures are in there. It's flexible, You can and it's like storable. <laughs> It's really easy to store, it goes flat, it's flexible, it's great. So, yeah, I'm excited for that one. I also got a couple hair masks. This is the Innisfree Camellia Essential Hair Treatment. I haven't tried any hair masks from Innisfree before. I have tried their Camellia 
spray in oil I think it is I used it as a heat protectant so I figured uh, I, I, I did enjoy that one so I figured I would try the hair mask as well and I also got the Nature Republic Argan Essential Deep Care Hair Pack it comes in this little tub like that I love this. I've had I've used this before and I haven't used it in a couple of years because I got a bunch of um, salon brands on sale from Chatters last year I think or two years ago before we moved into this house and um, I've been using getting through those but I'm on my last one right now so I picked up two Korean brand ones because they're made for finer hair like I find finer hair they sit nicer on finer hair and my hair is very fine I have a lot of it. Um, but it is very fine hair. So these don't weigh my hair down, which I really like. It smells nice and it's like six dollars. So why not? <laughs> and uh, the next thing I got I've wanted to try forever and a day and this is from Blythe. Um, this is the pressed serum. This is the crystal ice plant one for calming and hydrating. I'm excited to use this because my skin especially in the winter time when the air is really dry um, is not the happiest <laughs> so having something that's hydrating and cooling to kind of cool down angry skin um, it is literally a serum that's not well it's not pressed right now but it smells very minty uh, but it's supposed to be pressed and it's not oh it's a creme serum so this one's a cream yeah it smells it smells very minty Okay, yeah, but you use it as a serum, so it looks like a cream, but you use it like a serum. Like, Blythe is also the brand that does a lot of splash masks, where you put it in your sink, and then you fill your sink with water, and you just splash it on your face, and that's the mask. So I'm, ex I'm curious to use this. I'm curious to see how it works. Oh, I got another sample. I got the Cosrx Propolis Light Ampoule. <laughs> There's another sample in the box here. And the last skincare item I got is this Me A Pew Pure Block Daily Sun Cream, which is SPF 45 PA++++. Um, I prefer Korean skincare, Korean sunscreens, because they're a lot more watery, they absorb a lot faster, and they don't leave as much of a white cast. So I'm on my second last one, I think, so I just picked up another one of those. All right, so we're into the makeup. Yeah, now it's just this last few products is makeup that I purchased. Um, I got, first thing I got is the Etude House Glittery Snow Air Mousse Palette. This is a eyeshadow duo. It came in two color waves. I think this is their holiday one from last year, so holiday 2020. Um, this one is in Frozen. This is their cooler tone one. But the pa Etude House kills it with the packaging for sure. And this is what they look like. And they're like a pretty pink. They're both shimmers or glitters. And they're, but Korean, when it comes to Asian um, eyeshadows, they're very, very subtle. But they look beautiful on your eyes. Like this is like a one swipe eyeshadow look. Like you get beautiful glitters and it looks like a shimmery look on your eyes without having to put too much effort into it. Which is nice, because if you just want to do a one eyeshadow look, you just literally put your finger in it, swipe it across your eyes, and you're good to go. Also for my Tooth House, I picked up the Lash Perm Volume Fix Mascara. Um, Asian Mascara is not my favorite. A Tooth House, the Volume Fix, like the Perm, perm Volume Fix, I like. Um, and yeah, so, and it's cheap. I think I'll pay like four bucks for that thing. <laughs> Uh, and I got the Misha Color Fix Eye Primer. Again, I'm on my last one right now. So I wanted to stock up. It looks like the NARS one, to be honest. So I'm excited to see how it, how it does. And then the last four products, I picked up the whole, everything that was available from this collection because I really like Moonshot's lip products. Um, so I picked up Moonshot's Cream Paint Light Fit Air. And I picked up all four colors that they had. So they look like this. So um, I enjoy light fit, like really lightweight tints. Like it's it's a cream tint is what it is. Um, I do enjoy tints, Asian, like Korean lip tints because I find they stay on like a matte liquid lipstick, but they don't 
weigh you down. They don't wear away like the lipstick does, where it looks crusty and gross and stuff like that. These, these wear very naturally and they fade very naturally. So the first color I got is in Almond Rose. And that's, that's what they look like. They're, I don't know if these ones are made for cheeks and lips because they're cream paints I know were like all over your face, like made for everywhere. Ooh, that's an interesting little uh, applicator there. Um, but yeah, so this one is an Almond Rose. Yeah, they're definitely light. You can feel the lightweightness to them. <laughs> So that's Almond Rose right there. As you can see, like it sits like a matte liquid lipstick, but it's lighter weight than that. The next one I have is in Tangerine Breeze, which is like an orangey color. Now the thing too with um, Korean specifically lip products is you'd be hard pressed to find bold colors. <laughs> you won't, most of their stuff is very natural. So that's the Tangerine Breeze there. So it's very, it's a little orangier. But they're very natural. They're, the bright colors don't tend to come into Korean um, lip products anyways. So if you're looking for a natural lightweight look that looks like just your lips but better, I mean the light fit, the lightweight tints are the way to go. Um, this one is in Coral, Chilling Coral. Again, it's, it's a coral color. <laughs> It's a little redder than Tangerine, the Tangerine Breeze one. Like a little, I guess, red pinker. So those are the three there. And then the last thing I got is the flower. It's called Flower Child. And it looks like it's a very, oh yeah, it says my, my lips went better. My mouth went better. <laughs> so they're made to be natural. This is the Flower Child one, which is very, very natural. Oh yeah, this one's much redder than the other ones. So the top, that top one there is Flower Child. So it's much redder than the other ones, but they all kind of sit the same. And I think that that's what I like about them. But yeah, so that's everything I got uh, for this collective haul, my New Year's sale haul. Did you get anything in New Year's sale? And you can let us know in the comment section down below. And this is probably the last haul. Uh, for the year because I'm doing a buy less use more year. I'm not calling it a no buy or a low buy. I just want to use what I have and I want to find out how much I can use and what the cost is and how much I am using over the course of the year. So I'm tracking everything. I'm tracking what I'm using up, what I'm not using up. And uh, yeah, so if you want to follow along that journey, don't forget to hit the little red subscribe button. And if you want to see more content on like anti hauls, uh, closet purges, spring cleaning. Give me a, a little bit of a subscribe and uh, ring the bell if you want to be notified when I post new content because I don't have a schedule and I'm just choosing when I want to post. So, so yeah. All right. That's it for this video. We'll see you next time. Bye.